So Aiden, we're just on our second race here at Rockingham. And uh, race one may not have gone exactly as planned, but starting from 28th, you've done what you've done in the past and you've managed to make it up to an incredible uh, 13th. Yeah, I mean, um, race one, we didn't get a set up right at all. We struggled on the soft tyre from the first lap, so I knew come the end of the race we were going to be fighting pretty hard to keep on the track, never mind keep positions. But, um, yeah, it just completely ruined the tyre because we had... Um, a, not a lot of grip from early on so the tyres were working that hard that went for the brakes in the second last lap and just touched them slightly and they locked the fronts and tried to come off to unlock them but I couldn't get the, the wheel to start rotating again so it was a bit unfortunate but um, yeah, race two was a good race um, coming through from the back we, Scott, Warren Scott defended well so we, it took us a bit of time to get past him and I think if it wasn't for that, we comfortably would have been in the top 10, which is a shame seeing as they drew the number 10 ball. Now, uh, no, yeah, number 10 ball it was drawn, as you said, um, which now means starting from 13th, the people with all the max ballast and the highest ballast will be uh, towards the back of the top 10, which means you'll have to get through them first. Is that, uh, is that a good thing that you've got the people who have more ballast, so theoretically slower, but then, of course, the people who have lighter balance might be getting away to so the gap. But uh, for a team, sort of like a podium, might uh, might be getting away from you. Yeah, I mean, um, that's a hard one because either way you look at, you can look at it as and they'll be the theoretically the easiest people to pass first from the weight. But at the same time, the front people will get away. So I think it's just one of those things. It all depends if the the top guys are battling. They'll help us if the. If they manage to get away, it won't. So this one, you can't really plan for it. We'll just um, see what happens when we're out there. And finally, uh, at Donington, uh, you went from 16th to 4th in race 3. Now that's a gap of 12 places. If you do that again, you've gone from 13th to 1st. Now that might not be your target overall, but maybe uh, another sort of top five finish might be on the cards for you. I mean, we're aiming for a podium. Uh, whether it happens or not is a different story, but that's what we're aiming for, so we'll see what happens. Okay, thank you very much for your time, Aidan, and very good luck for the final race today. Cheers, thank you.